Welcome, I am the appliance dude, otherwise known as Jonathan, here at Curdo's in Westchester County. Welcome to the new showroom. Welcome to the new Viking area. Yes, the largest Viking display in Westchester County and Manhattan as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please visit us. Um, I'm hanging out in the Viking land today because I want to revisit something. Way back in the day, I made a video about the Viking 3 Series range the RVGR3305. I am stunned, absolutely stunned at the sales that I am seeing on the 3 Series, particularly the gas range. And the reason I'm stunned is because the prices were actually raised significantly early in 2014, which led me and many other in the know in the business to predict the immediate demise of this line, okay? I mean, these ranges went from in the mid to low to mid threes to the low fours. We said, done, kaput, kiss it goodbye. And what has happened? The sales have increased. The volume has increased. It's absolutely incredible. And the reason I think this is occurring is quite simply, I think that the thing was actually undervalued in the marketplace in the past, both by Viking and by dealers, and I guess by extension by consumers as well. So in the past, you were getting, you were robbing Viking at gunpoint buying this range. Now, getting it in the low fours, then with a $400 rebate, you're walking out of the deal in the high threes, it's actually priced quite right and still a very good deal compared to other professional ranges. Five burners up top on a 30 inch range. That's few and far between. I mentioned the self cleaning. Did I mention the telescopic rack inside, which some of these other brands make you spend $275. That's what the new Bosch is actually charging. The new Bosch series, $275 for extra telescopic racks. Okay, it's bucks. They give it to you for free. Um, of course, you all know about the three year warranty, the 90 day no quibble policy. It's funny, we have to bring that up because we just sold a couple of packages today and one very, very learned customer from Riverdale, um, they basically said to me, hey listen man, the reviews of Viking are so bad online. And quite simply, this is the way you have to look at it. The company has put their money where their mouth is. I mean, they're giving you a three year warranty, they're giving you a 90 day no quibble. They are confident in the product, okay? If they weren't confident, okay, and they were going to be, they forecasted having these issues and this and that, when they look at their incident rates and stuff like that, they'd be bankrupted. They can't warranty something for three years and then also give you a 90 day, we'll give you your money back if there's one service call. They can't get away with that from a financial standpoint. They'll be sunk. They're confident in the brand. They're confident in the product. And I can tell you right now, I said it a year ago, my incident rates on the Viking products have plummeted. Things are buttoned up. You're saying to yourself, well, why don't I just do a G Cafe range that's $2,600? I can do an Electrolux in the high twos. I'm not going to really talk about Bosch Benchmark at this point because I don't have enough information about it. And of course, it hasn't been released yet. At least the gas ones, the gas ones actually just got UL approval. We'll see what happens. They do look beautiful. But what I say is, you know, in the past, the Viking was sold against the GE Cafe, all right, for a few hundred dollars more. Now the price difference is quite wide. Now you're talking there's over $1,000 price difference. And why do you do it? Well, I mean, yeah, the self-cleaning, the Viking name, the warranty, blah, 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 blah. There's definitely, you got the telescopic rack. Um, that, that range, okay, one thing which is really not talked about, that range is born from the same chassis that the 5 Series Pro range is born from. So it's not like you're getting some knockoff range with a Viking name on it that is OEM'd by, I don't know, Frigidaire. Not that I'm trying to diss Frigidaire, but I mean, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, you're getting a Viking made product. It's handcrafted in Greenwood, Mississippi, going through their very, very tight quality assurance processes right now. So um, it, it, it's, it's quite a compelling product. The negatives about it, what I continue to hear is that folks will complain about the oven size. Well, if you look at the images that we're flashing through right now, the oven sizes are really not that much different than other 30 inch gas ranges. Now, it is slightly smaller in some cases 
The reason being is that they're self-cleaning. So, folks, if you want the self-cleaning, you have to go with a slightly smaller oven size. If you don't care about it, then get the larger oven, and then you need to be on your hands and knees scrubbing the oven out. I don't know how many two people, you know, how many people really want to deal with that. As my customer from Riverdale came in today and she said, you know what? I want to know that I could just go to the range, turn a knob, and let it do its thing as far as the cleaning. I do not want to be in my hands and knees doing it. So for her, self-cleaning was huge. She'll deal with a slightly smaller oven cavity. But again, let's not make a big deal about the oven size because it's quite large if you look at the cubic capacity. It fits your Thanksgiving turkey. Unless you're running a catering company out of your apartment or your home, I don't really see how this is going to be a problem. Okay. We took a couple of all clad pots and actually put them on top of the grate. And you could actually fit five pots on there, okay? Unlike some other 30 inch ranges where handles and this and that start bumping into one another. So certainly, definitely consider if you're in Manhattan, if you're in a metropolitan area, you can only do a 30 inch range. Definitely consider this. You can pop a microwave over it or you can put a hood. Even in suburbia over here, if you're somewhat limited in space, definitely consider it because remember, you got five burners, you got the oven, you got a lot of things here, you got flexibility. It's like the Swiss Army knife, okay? There's so many different things going on here. You can adapt it to whatever your needs are. It's all good. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out, watching. The appliance dude is in full effect. I'm coming at you like Ali when he was known as Cassius. You have to come to the new showroom. We've done a soft launch, not a lot of hype, we're working up to that. We're so happy with the new digs. Please come down and check it out and check out the Viking 3 Series here. Thank you.